is a writer, entrepreneur, founder of Aquo, and an empowered woman. Her willingness to give back, eagerness to do good, and ability to persevere are just some of the many factors that makes her the inspiring person that she is today. Welcome to another episode of In Love With Me, where we feature inspiring individuals who will share their amazing stories. I am Mafe Yunan Belasco, and for this series, our topic is owning your own craft. This season, we aim to highlight game changers who continuously own their own craft and share their gifts with the world in hopes of making it a better place. Joining us today is a brain injury survivor who has turned her pain into power to show the world that you can create a life you want to live, regardless of your circumstances. So let's welcome an empowered woman, Amy Aquilini. Hi, Amy. Hi, Mafe. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad that you are taking the time to inspire people because you definitely inspire me. Thank you so much, Mafe. <laughs> Lovely to be here today. Well, as mentioned always, guys, we are live on Facebook right now and also on Kumu, Australia Kumu. So for the viewers and listeners out there, I hope that you you will enjoy and be motivated to be uh, a better you each and every day. And of course, you know, to get to know Amy a little bit better. Um, Amy, for our viewers and uh, our community here in, in Love With Me, can you share with us a little bit of your background, who you are and what do you do? Okay, so my name is Amy Akbalini. I had a quad bike accident nine years ago now, and um, I've turned my lemons into lemonade and rebuilt my life. Um, gone on to have two children in that time and built a brand and a business. I was told that I would never be a functioning member of society again, but I've always been that strong, determined female that, I'll do what I want to do. Like, you can't tell me what to do. And, like, it, it has its negative perks, but it's been quite positive in the way of building my business and my brand, yeah. Um, and I've also written a memoir of my survival story, Strong. Wow. I love that. Um, later on, please invite everybody how they can get a, grab a copy. But going back... Uh, you really are a game changer. You know, a lot of people may say that they have challenges in life and it hinders them to achieve, you know, even just waking up each day. And for you, you have created a, a, a company or a business that allows you to even help others with your story. Yeah. And I, I want to know, I'm really curious, you know, tell us about Aqua. How did you come about the name? the motivation and, you know, just just the fact that you just really want to help others. So five years ago, I started searching for something, I don't know, to occupy. Oh, no, when did I start? I started when I was six months pregnant with my first son, Jack, and I thought, oh, you know, I need to find a way of supporting our family. And that's where it started. And I've been searching for so long and built so much along the way without knowing that I've built it. Mm -hmm. But in, in overcoming my traumatic experiences and everything, like I'm still working with psychologists and um, professionals to help with the side that no one else sees. Right. Yeah, like behind closed doors kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I suppose that once everything, I, I feel inside myself that once everything is getting sorted, everything's going to start falling into place mm -hmm. and become that little bit easier. And I want to show others that it doesn't matter where you come from, what you do or what happens in your life everything you do is a choice you can make the choice to wallow in self-pity and oh poor me or you can get out there and get shit done and that's what i've done every day i push myself 
in rehab, it was it, now, now I don't speak like this, but I used to say all the time, don't be a little bitch, mm -hmm. get up, go do your physio, you know, because there's no way you're going to get better unless you do the work. Mm -hmm. So get up and deal with it. Like, don't be a little bitch. And that just rung over in my head. And that's helped me to create Aquo. Um, so I, excuse me, I um, am a keynote speaker. I've spoken yeah. at various events throughout North Queensland, um, written my memoir strong, uh, appear on podcasts, um, and I'm quite the entrepreneurial brain where I, I think of an idea, oh, yeah, okay, let's do it. And I'm very proactive like that. Mm -hmm. That's probably why these bags are so, like, big under my eyes because, yeah, everything takes time. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen overnight, right? And That's right. And I'm a person that, like, I want things done the day before yesterday. And, yeah. like, life circumstances have taught me that you need to be patient. Don't force things to happen. Let it all happen in its own time. Like everything will happen in its own time and space. Yeah. And yeah. you just got to flow with it. And I'm, I'm trying now to step back from my life and just let life flow. Right. Yeah. I love that. I mean, at the end of the day, we submit. We submit to the universe, we submit to the positive higher power that already has a plan for us. It's just a matter of mm -hmm. us, like you said, taking a step back when everything gets a bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Because, you know, to really understand lives, we don't control everything. We can't control everything. No, we can't. And, and see, I, I was like class A control freak. Like that's me. And now I've just got to let everything go and let it play out on its own and everything will be okay. Like I know that at the end of the day, mm. everything is going to be okay. Right. So why, why am I putting so much pressure on myself mm -hmm. to be, to be more now, like without letting it happen? Yeah. I guess I've, I've pushed myself really hard in the last nine years because in a way, I, I, I felt, and this was on me, like I made myself feel like I wasn't enough of a person or like I wasn't really a person or, you know, I had to be successful to find that self, I don't know, self-gratification. Is that yeah. what you say when like self-acceptance? Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I can tell you, it's made my life quite the roller coaster ride. <laughs> like live and learn, hey. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I think that's the advantage that we have, like our generation at least, is because we did not have distractions that will overload that. I guess identity crisis, like uh, the generation that like they face that fear and anxiety each and every day, and with you having that voice and just going through what you went through. I hope that everybody's listening and, and understanding that if Amy can have the strength and can put her hand up and ask for help when she needs it. And That's really hard. Let me oh my God. <laughs> Let's talk about the book. Is that you on the cover? I'd love to say yes, because <laughs> I, got, I got that ripped. Like, oh, I was like in mad set, like this madness of, okay, I've got to be ripped and I've got to do this and I've got to be this person. And like, I was, I even wanted to compete in body comp, like categories and stuff like that. And I've given it away because now with children, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> but like I put all these pressures on myself to be yeah, more yeah, yeah. because I, I don't know, I just I don't feel like I'm enough. Mm -hmm. And that's not that's not the case. What I have to say to others is that if you are going to make a change in your life, like a big drastic changes, be gentle with yourself. Like mm -hmm. let yourself feel the emotions and the feelings. 
to go through the process and and kill any of your old traumatic ways and like don't let it affect your future so it's it's been a really long process but it's and it's still a process it will always be a process it's life you know but i'm finding better ways of dealing with myself and others and yeah growing as a person every day i guess and that's kind of i i want to i've always wanted to build a heart-led business you know a business where i don't lead by what people are telling me is a good idea i lead by what i feel Mm. and i'm a very i've become a very feeling person Mm -hmm. and a lot of other people they i don't know they misconstrue like the way i the way i come about i guess yeah and they don't understand me yeah Mm -hmm. yeah but then again you found your tribe i mean thank you peace and katie oh my god my tribe you guys are amazing (laughs) and and it's because you were ready for it you know always believe and i i learned that from my life coach too is that you're at the right place at the right time with the right people yeah right and you were ready. You were ready for other strong women around you. And I do want to give a shout out to, again, Peace and Katie and all of our Osmanpreneur community that has been such a pillar of strength, right? Yeah. Yeah, they have been. I so have a story to tell. So <laughs> I, call, I call peace my silver lining because <laughs> the day I had a plan to end my life, I I don't know what happened. I can't even tell you how I was feeling that. I guess I was just really numb. And mm. here drops an inbox from Peace. Mm. And we started connecting. And I I say that I'm still here because of the way my mind shifted when we started talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's always been really special for me. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love how you're glowing, just you sharing that story, because we do have so many people that would love to support us, right? And right. Amy, you know, just shared just now that she had those thoughts. But at the end of the day, wow. I mean, it gives me chills. <laughs> I'm actually speechless right now because that's something that I'm very passionate about. And you, Amy, as a motivational coach yourself, how does it feel just impacting other people's life the way that you felt when Peace sent you that that email? I can't even really put it into words, but it's very it's very humbling to be able to help others through their struggles because I went through so much and there I didn't have anyone who really understood and excuse me and I feel that living through an experience yes is more of a qualification than a degree in many aspects Mm -hmm. yeah I agree. Experience is a life lesson at, at his best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, what would be your most valuable advice that you have given to someone else? Um, where do I start? How long have we got? <laughs> no. Um, cut the world. <laughs> Yes, Dr. If, Vanessa, thank you. If you lead with your heart, like if you lead with your heart, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, and a very, very big thing I live by is don't ever let somebody else define what you are or are not capable of because you know to your core whether you do subconsciously or consciously 
that you can create whatever it is that you want to create in this world. And that's why I'm standing so strong behind my brand and my business because I know what I'm trying to create. Like the the pieces may be a little jagged because of my brain injury, Mm. but, you know, I've got all of you guys who have, you know, offered support along the way. And all you, you, there is support out there. You just need to ask the question. Like be be confident enough to ask the question because mm-hmm. what's the worst people could say? What they could say, no. Okay, move on to the next person. Ask mm-hmm. the next person. And eventually mm-hmm. you will find the support that you are looking for. You will because that's what I have done, you know? Yeah. Powerful. And that's the reason why Amy is so strong. Yes, we are all proud of you, Amy. And for me, if I didn't know you, I wouldn't even think that you were um, going through what you're going through or have gone through because you speak with so much passion, you know. And uh, speaking of passion, guys, if you are just tuning in, we are with Amy Aquilini, uh, the amazing woman behind Aqua. And we'll learn more about her after we hear from an authentic uh live streaming app kumu thank you the social media world is a fast-paced international stage but what if we told you there is one platform out there that puts filipino voices first that's right welcome to the community the heart of the number one pinoy live streaming app kumu With our users and members from across the globe, you can be assured that the community is a diverse, exciting collective championing Filipino culture, and we are thriving. What makes the community unique from all other social media communities? It's how we leverage innovative technologies to suit every Filipino's creative style, putting their voices first. Get in on the action with live streaming with our community. Learn from the best content creators where you watch the community stage, which hosts a variety of shows every single week. Too shy for the camera? No worries. We've got audio streaming for that. Don't want to do it alone? Easy. Have your barcada go live with you. Or maybe quick short videos are more your thing. We've got Kumu Clips for that. Looking for your online tribe? We've got a lot of teams here in the community. Within the community, you can be guaranteed that we keep things positive, authentic, and fun. With Kumu moderators all over the app, we keep our commitment to make this platform a safe space for all. It's why we've been dubbed the Disneyland of social media. We make Kumu the funnest, best place to be for all. Sama al talaga. Be part of the community. Taranasa Kumu, where authentic connections happen. And welcome back. Speaking of authentic connections, I have Amy Aquilini here. And we're discussing how amazing her life journey has been and continues to be. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited to, to read her book, Strong. Um, you know, maybe Amy can share with us your memorable memories of, of writing this book. So it was actually a really, really, I don't know, difficult process. It, Mm. like, it almost killed me because Mm. it was just I put my heart and soul into writing this book. And, um, like, I spoke about my childhood and I spoke about, you know, how I've been able to change my mindset because mindset is everything. Like in life, mindset is everything. And the way you, you know, take the way you perceive conversations, it all it all ties into your mindset, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, have I got a copy of it here? No, I don't. Damn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll show it here so that everybody can see <laughs> Um, but it was, it, it took, it took me eight months to actively sit down and write this book. I, I, I set goals for myself to reach. So, okay, today I'll finish that chapter and 
tomorrow I'll start the next one and review that one and I went like that um and it was it was quite a struggle but it awoke something in me that just made me want to want to share so much more with the world because I know what I have to offer mm -hmm. and that that's why I've built my course and that's why I'm a coach and all the rest of it now because I want to be able to be of service to people you know so that they don't have to walk the same journey mm -hmm. um I I was told by the doctors that I would never be a functioning member of society again mm. and to me that's bullshit because I've always I've always had more go in me to, you know, chase what I wanted in life. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, that I probably, I, I have probably gone about it in the wrong way at one time or another in life, but that's life. We mm -hmm. all live and we learn, you know, and I just want to be able to show people that, the, hey, they say you got a disability, cool, okay. What are you going to do about it? You know, you you in yourself know what it is that you can do, mm -hmm. not the doctors who give, uh, you know, um, an overall diagnosis that's the same for everyone. Right. You know, um, you can you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Like stop playing small and reach for what you want in life because you create your life. If you don't, life creates you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree with you. Never let anything hold you back, guys. Uh, no, never. And, and you know what I love that you shared earlier is that you're not afraid to ask, right? You're not afraid to have mentorship. Yeah, uh, you know, for those who are still, I guess, fearing to even ask that question, like, what, what's your advice to them? Stop worrying about what other people are going to think mm. and start thinking about your vision and bringing that to life. That's what I do every day. Like, I don't think about oh, you know, but this person's going to think this and that person's going to think I'm crazy. i got a brain injury. I'm already crazy. Like, <laughs> you're not telling me anything. <laughs> um, but it's all about owning it, owning your story and yourself as a person and being confident enough to say, you know what, I'm going to reach out because there are ways of getting everything done you know, ask someone who's gone before you, hey, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? And, you know, more times than not, they're going to offer you some support mm -hmm. or guide you in the right direction of where you can go for more support, you know? Yes. Yeah. And, of course, you know, Amy, a podcast or our theme for this season is earning your craft. How important is it in, in your thoughts and in, in your heart for someone to own their own craft? It's like number one, because if you own all of your, you own your whole life. If you own all of the toxic behaviors and everything you have going on in your life, whether it be business, integrate everything. You know, that's what I've done. I integrate everything because that's the only way I have been able to find some flow. Yes. Um, so I've put everything together and I've really started working on, okay, this is struggling a bit, so I'm going to work on that bit and, okay, this bit needs some more support and, um that bit there, that needs a bit of work and because otherwise you're not gonna, you're not going to lead with authenticity. You're not going to lead, you're not going to be able to 
be the heartfelt woman or man that you want to be. Mm -hmm. Wow. So much wisdom, guys. Uh, I hope that you are absorbing and learning. And I, I would love for you all to now be connected with Amy. And uh, I know you have many gifts for everyone that, um, you know, once they connect with you, all of this plus more will help you guys get better. Um, I know we went really serious and deep. So before we wrap up the, the, the show, Amy, I do have a fun activity for everybody to get to know you even more. It's called awesome. um, Rapid Fire Questions. Just the first thing that you can think of um, when I ask you the question, just blurt it out. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> all right. So we've got Amy right here and we're going to ask her a few questions so that you guys can get to know her even more. First question is, what is your dream job when you were a little girl? Oh, wow. Well. I wanted to be in the army so I could blow shit up. That was literally <laughs> what I wanted to do. Guess what? You are. Life is <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. What is your hidden talent? My hidden talent. Oh. My hidden talent. Wow, this is a hard. Oh, painting. Painting. Yeah. I'm, I love painting. All right, love it. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Describe yourself in one word. And I think I know what that word is. <laughs> Crazy. Well, apart from that, you're strong, right? Yeah, well, I am strong. That's right. I am strong. Yes. So don't forget, guys, grab that book because it's amazing. All right. Another one. What is your favorite color and why? Again, my favorite color is green because that is John Deere. And my whole life has been around sugarcane, which is green, and like farm life and John Deere all the way. Yeah. That's all right. Me. Lastly, if you are not an author, what would you be? What would I be if I wasn't an author? Well, oh, that's a hard one. I've never you really. That, so. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably just be a mum. Like, and I'd have more kids. Like, I've only got the two boys, but. Yeah. Like, I, I always thought of myself from young, like, before I had the accident and traumatic brain injury and only one functioning arm, mm -hmm. I thought I would have had, like, at least four kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I'm from a big family and, yeah, I just, I love the big family, like, get-togethers and Christmases and Easter's and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I agree. And it's funny because my past guest also said that. And maybe it's a reminder for me, hey, just be a mom for once. <laughs> just yeah. oh, take time out. Yeah. It works so hard. Yeah, that's, that's me too. Just be a mom. Like, yeah. and I think for the rest of the year, like I'm happy, I'm happy to keep putting away with what I'm doing, but I'm not going to chase anything too extravagant. I'm going to focus on my boys, getting us settled in town. Um, because we have gone through a fair bit of life experiences recently. Um, and, yeah, I just want to make sure that they are okay, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Amy. I have no, enjoyed so much for having me. And don't worry, we're here to cheer you on no matter what. And, guys, um, I know you want to learn more and where to, to contact uh, Amy, but before that, I do want to say thank you to the MMC team and check out what else we do in Mate Management Consultancy. Mafe Management is a company dedicated to empowering individuals and businesses in PR and marketing, social media management, online show and podcast production, business consulting, graphic design, photography and videography, workshops and classes, events management, personality development, logo creation, illustrations, and animation. In working together to turn their dreams into reality. 
get one step closer to elevating yourself and your business by contacting hello at mafemanagement.com. Let us empower you. And thank you, Amy, for empowering us. Um, I would also like to give thanks to our amazing supporters, Busa, Belasco Unlimited Skills Academy, XOX, SAS by Yona Signo, the Wellbeing Boost Program, and of course, Kumu, you heard from Kumu earlier. So Amy, please do invite everyone how they can find you, perhaps any exciting workshops that you have ongoing and uh, whatever else you would like to share with the world. Okay, so my website is www.aquoonline.com.au and on there is um, my course that I'm running. Um, it's Unleash Your Inner Confidence course and I will work personally with them if they so choose mm -hmm. or they can do it by themselves because I'm, I was, I've always been one of those people that I'll do it my own self. Yes. Um, so I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'd really like to help empower others to, you know, return to their authentic selves mm -hmm. and lead and lead with so much heart and positive positive energy that you know we make the world a better place. Right. Because right. at the moment, like. I don't want to leave it like it is at the moment for my kids, you know. Let's make it better. So yeah. I think we can all join together to do that. So my course is on my website. Mm -hmm. um, I am on Facebook at Aqua Online. Um, Instagram, is it Aqua underscore blog? Yes. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, and on LinkedIn as Amy Aqualini. There you have it, guys. And of course, time flies when you have fun. And I do want to thank Amy again for being here and showing up for us. You definitely have shared so much. And I am very grateful for all the wise words. Guys, don't forget to grab a copy of Strong by Amy. And where can they purchase uh, this amazing book of yours? So it's on Amazon. Um it's on many different avenues online like um, Smashwords, uh, Indigo Books, Apple iBooks, um, the Book Depository. Sorry, I, I like my head's gone blank. It's on, it's on a lot of avenues online, right. okay? If you search strong by yeah. Amy Aquilini, a million things will come up. Yes. Just <laughs> guys or you know feel free to just reach out to amy you know she's all yeah. on the social media uh platforms I love, I love human connection more than anything yes. in the world that's they have it so we're gonna hear more from you uh i'm pretty sure the next few months or even 2023 we will be seeing more features um of amy so don't forget also to follow Amy's social media accounts as well as In Love With Me series and turn on that notification bell so that you can uh, be alerted for the next show, okay? And once again, I am Martha Yunan Velasco reminding you that you should love and be proud of your own story to tell because actions speak louder than words. And thank you for tuning in, in this episode of In Love With Me. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.